one thing. Um, let's see, gotta set the core affinity. Once again, I wish I could do, have this set automatically. Hey y'all, I just wanted to take a brief aside to mention that going forward, future episodes will cut out what I consider to be fluff. That's right, no repeat of episode 12. So that includes lengthy failed attempts, aimless wandering, and the like. So let's get back to the action. Alright, now we're saved. Not gonna revert to a previous load. We're gonna actually just hit the continue button. For one, damn. A fighter, stop! No, uh... And we are back. Excellent. Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining me today. Oh, no, I'm gonna die! Great celerity here. You will hold it. How did he talk after he died? You're not seeing that on the stream, though. Turn around, go up the stairs, shoot those two guys, open the door, go across the scaffolding, and save Ruth. Seems pretty straightforward to me. Okay, let him. Problem is that. that Well, I guess this serves pretty well to. Um... Who's there? Take him down! <sighs> serves pretty well to. Um... Replay a certain section. Jack! <laughs> 
I'm up here. Ruth, what the hell are you doing up there? I must have been followed. They stormed inside just moments ago. There was gunfire outside. I only just managed to climb up here and threw the ladder down to escape. I'm trapped up here, Jack. The door's padlocked, and this ledge isn't going to hold for much longer. I don't want to die, Jack. Help me! Keep back. I'll figure something out. I can hear something. Find it! Spread out! Spread out! Spread out! Look everywhere! Search the area! Outsider, show yourself! Find it! Spread out! Take and save. Alright. It's unlocked. Come on, sweetheart. Brian's meeting us out back. I'll never be able to make it across the rafters. You'll have to get that door open. The pad, the padlock's old and rusted. The pad, time. the padlock's old. Let's get the hell out of here. Lead the way. Well, I guess there is a branching path. That's good to know. Come on, Ruth. Hurry the hell up. There's a bridge out of town on Carpenter. Just hold on. My efforts are all for naught.
Could I ask for your damn opinion? Remember who funds this damn nut house. Very well. He's awake. Ah, Mr. Walters. Our friends in the Boston PD hold you up as quite the hero. Before you went all screwy, that is. I don't like heroes, Mr. Walters. And I don't care for your opinions, whoever the hell you are. J. Edgar Hoover, from the Bureau. And considering your position, Mr. Walters, you best mind your manners. Now, what was your business in Innsmouth? Just stopping in on some broad. I was feeling down on my luck. Needed the company. Ah, bullshit. There are only two types of folks that visit Innsmouth. Criminals and fools. And you don't seem like a fool. Appearances can be deceptive. I see. Dr. Hardstrom, if you'd be so kind. Wake him up. Just charge me with something, because I don't know nothing. This is not going to stop, Mr. Walters, so you may as well level with me. I already told you. It was nothing. Missing person case. And I needed the dough. I miss my daddy. I don't like it. Me. I was only checked in for one night, and I had to blow the joint in the early hours. Seems the locals didn't take kindly to my snooping. For Christ's sake, Walters! Is it normal in your line of work to break a punk out of the can, then breeze out of town in a stolen car? Only on the good days. But not normally, no. I've had a shitty night, Hoover, so I'd really appreciate you cutting me some slack. What's the Bureau's beef with Innsmouth, anyway? Widespread criminal activity, Mr. Walters. And half the damn town's involved. Our government's never had to handle something on this scale before. But they won't sanction a full-scale operation without more evidence. Hmm. Well, I appreciate the bedtime story. I don't see where I come into this. Thanks to your meddling, Mackie's gone missing. And he was close to something. Something we could use. Missing? What do you mean, missing? He was supposed to check in hours ago. Our plans have now changed. You'll be accompanying us back into Innsmouth, Mr. Walters, on a small-scale raid. Our target? The Marsh Refinery. Oh, going back to Innsmouth. Okay. I'm not your lapdog, Hoover. I don't work for the Bureau. I'm not in the business of making requests, Mr. Walters. Or have you forgotten your past so quickly? A signature here, a signature there, and we can make you a permanent fixture of this delightful establishment. Spoilers. I could even arrange for you to have your old room back. <clears throat> Fuck you. Good night, Mr. Walters. 
pleasant drinks. February 8th, 1922. And uh, that's uh, off to the Marsh Refinery on the next episode. Jack's escape didn't quite go as planned, but at least the law is now on his side. And what's in this refinery that Hoover spoke of? Find out on the next episode.